Are you aware that 70% of pastors constantly fight depression and burnout for the frustration experienced as a result of ministry workload, discouragement, and pressure? We help leaders grow healthy churches. We are excellent at what we do, and we are fast becoming the best of the very best. MagnaCraft Consulting is set up to help both small and large-sized churches become healthier by using proven diagnostics tools, effective retention strategies. We give the right and appropriate and professional advice. We we are the certified church consultants with the Society of Church Consulting in the United States of America. Trust us to help you grow. Don't wait till it's too late. You will be glad you did. Call us now on 0802-324-2258. Email contact at magnacraftconsulting.com or magnacraftconsulting at gmail.com. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at MagnaCraft Limited. MagnaCraft Consulting. Doing church God's way. Hello, welcome to Monday Morning Matters live broadcast show brought to you by MagnaCraft Consulting Team. Anchored by me, Dumade, a certified church consultant with the Society for Church Consulting in the U.S. Here, each Monday of every week, we address in important, relevant, and actionable topics of interest that will help you and your church grow healthier. And now, meet your host, Ni Dumade. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It delights my heart to come your way this morning, a beautiful morning all the way from the city of Abuja. My name is Nid Dumadi. I'm the founder and the CEO of Magnicraft Consulting. Nid Dumadi is my name. I'm the founder and the CEO of Magnicraft Consulting. Welcome to Monday Morning Matters, the third edition of um, five series of the month of July 2024. How to bounce back from a wrong decision. How to bounce back from a wrong decision. We've started with part one. We have done part two. And today is part three. Monday Morning Matters has been coming your way almost six years since 2019. So we want to just let you know that you can go on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook page, and you're going to get quite a lot of information. All right. So uh, information on our Facebook and also on our YouTube channel. Please feel free to go on our Facebook page, on our YouTube channel to get quite a lot of information. I'm going to look at how to bounce back from a wrong decision. All right, that's what we're going to do. Thank you for hooking up with us. We are glad we are a part of this live broadcast show. It's unedited, so you might see some hiccups here and there. It's just designed to be unedited and raw. We are glad that we are part of this live broadcast show. All right, I'm Nid Dumadi. As I said earlier, I'm a certified church consultant. I'm a lead consultant, founder and CEO of Magnicraft Consulting. Let me tell you a little bit about Magnicraft Consulting. Magnicraft Consulting is a church consulting firm that helps local churches to grow healthier, 
through empirical assessment training, revitalization, and strategic blueprint. Our vision is to be the lead church, leading church health consultancy that creates actionable, sustainable, and adaptable solutions to churches. I'm also a certified church consultant, well-trained, groomed uh, with the Society for Church Consulting in the U.S., also a certified church consultant, with the Church Consultation University, also in the U.S., I'm also your host every Monday, come rain, come sunshine, thunder, lightning, I'm always coming your way every Monday on the Facebook Live broadcast show, 7 a.m. Nigerian time or West African time. I'm also known as the Church Health Guide of the 21st century. Now, I want to really appreciate everyone. Thank you so much for commenting on our content, telling us how timely our content is, sharing our content, reacting to our content. Thank you for always reacting and sharing with us. Let's do a little bit of promo today. It's raining or coming away despite any hiccup that may come our way. So let's pay, pay some bills and then we'll go for the dues of the day. All right. So um, today's Monday Morning Matters coming your way uh, today with myself, you do my certified talk All right. So feel free to always um, reach out to me on short rate shoes. And today we're going to be talking on how to bounce back from a wrong decision. How to bounce back from a wrong vision. Okay. So we have local churches to grow healthy to imperial assessment of utilization. Training and strategic blueprint. I believe benefit great benefit to your church in a great deal. All right, so um, this is a special uh, promo from Dr. Tim Rayner. You want to become well equipped, well trained, certified as a church consultant to help your own church, to help other churches. Uh, let us know how uh, we can but contact us and any of the social media handles and sure we go get you all the necessary information uh, to become a certified church consultant. In no time, all right. Okay, so please get my book also on church retention. You can scan the barcode, it's going to take you to where you chase the book. You're part of a local church, you're serving ministry, you're leading managed church, uh, and in the base of the, of, of the earth. Please get church retention on that way to growth, it's going to help you and help your church greatly. All right, we also have Boston Church Road Myth. Uh, please get that book, you can scan on screen, and then you're going to get so much more than you purchased for that book. Okay, so let's go into the day out to post back. From a wrong decision. We said earlier that no matter how, how high how high try, we are prone to mistakes, we are prone to making wrong decisions, we are prone to making uh, we emphasize prayer, we emphasize prayer, guidance uh, of the spirit uh, in terms of relationship, uh, relationship with the Holy Spirit. So are we able to take right decisions all the time? Is it possible to take decisions right all the time? Well, uh, sometimes that you make some decisions that are wrong, but you just have to know how to come back from that wrong. People would rather follow a leader that is real, the follow a leader that is right. I mean, people, I mean, everybody wants to follow a leader because all leaders are leaders, Jesus, are the angels. So, so who would rather follow a leader that's real? You can see him that is very old, he's trying very best, he's a human being. People want to follow a leader that is real. They follow a leader that is always like your always trying to have your vision that way, right? Leader is not chosen uh, because he's perfect. Or there's somebody God chose because he's perfect. Oh, this is perfect because of his perfection. He's been qualified to be a God. So a leader is not chosen because he's part of the system that was perfect. But I was chosen because I'm a yield vessel of God. I will use any yield vessel, any yield vessel that's ever to fail. So when a leader feels vulnerable, then all of us want to follow that too. Are not vulnerable, so these don't have leaders and the congregation not stable to them. There, so, so these uh, leaders are chosen because they are perfect. Leaders are chosen because they are perfect. So, we stop picking with to stop what innovative stop picking um leading actions. So, make sure that you are able to so, read the role of leader is not in becoming a hero, the role of leader is becoming a servant. So, when make us a hero, that story whether positive, negative, that's when you are a leader indeed. That's when you are a leader indeed. So, please uh, let's make sure that that work is the um. Okay. So our our leaders will be able to use who are for you as a church, as, as, as a congregation. Right? So, so the thing is, if you are from a wrong church, you have to be able to uh, seek, uh, you have to be able to seek forgiveness. You have to be able to seek forgiveness. You have to be able to seek re uh, reconciliation. All right. You have to. Uh, there must be a process of seeking forgiveness because you you people that you are you are taking a wrong decision in trust of the people that you are leading and that has been affected one is to acknowledge recognize and admit that the wrong decision okay the wrong decision we have to recognize and admit that the wrong decision uh, and its impact on the congregation you have to admit that you have to admit that yeah you have to make an apology, a sincere apology to those affected on expressing genuine remorse over that wrong decision. All right, over that wrong decision. And then make amends where possible. Make tangible amends to demonstrate.
that you have a commitment towards making right every wrong decision. All right? Now, you cannot overemphasize the role of prayer and spiritual guidance in this whole process of reconciliation. We have to engage prayers so that God will begin to turn that wrong decision into something that will be helpful to the church. Forgiveness and reconciliation. There are practical steps to mend relationships and rebuild trust because if you don't build trust, there's no how your followers are going to be following you. Okay? So, first of all, is open communication. Trust within the church community cannot be emphasized without uh, fostering transparency and honest dialogue within the community. All right? Now, another thing is active listening. I mean, you must listen. Just like it happened in Acts of Apostles, when the widows were neglected in the daily ministration. All right? And so, uh, the disciples, the, sorry, the apostles, uh, were in active listening to the plight of the disciples. So, show empathy to to by actively listening to the to, to, to the grievances and concern of those affected by the wrong decision that you are made. All right, the wrong decision you are made is affecting some people. One of the things you can do is to make sure that you give them listening ear, actively listening to their grievances and the concerns they have uh, because they have been affected by that wrong decision. Now, one of the things is consistency. Demonstrate consistency and trustworthy behavior towards rebuilding confidence. You see, when you make a wrong decision, people will always think that you will uh, you'll be, you'll be making the next wrong decision. But the thing is, Once you are consistent after the wrong decision to demonstrate trustworthy behavior, traits that, that can rebuild confidence in those who, who are following you is going to be helpful in your leadership style. Now, community support, engage the church community to collectively, uh, to, in collective efforts to restore harmony and trust. Because the thing is, once there's a wrong decision, it creates disharmony, it creates disunity, it creates uh, mistrust. And so you have to be able to engage the entire church uh, in collaborative efforts towards making sure you restore this harmony, unity, and trust that is needed for your leadership to make the impact in the church. Let's look at some few biblical um, examples of forgiveness and reconciliation in the Bible. Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 and 15 the Bible that emphasizes the necessity of forgiving others to receive God's forgiveness. Now, the extent at which you forgive others, you have you have got to be forgiven. So uh, sometimes you also need to seek for forgiveness from those who have been impacted by the wrong decision. Colossians chapter three verse thirteen encourages us to bear one another's burden and forgiving as the Lord has forgiven us okay Luke chapter 17 3 and 4 highlights the importance of forgiving repeatedly if there is a genuine repentance second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 18 and 19 the Bible says that uh, it was just emphasizing the ministry of reconciliation I mean that's what we are called to do it's called to the ministry of reconciliation and stressing that God reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Okay, so that's just the whole um, cross of the matter for today. Active listening, make sure that you create a comfortable atmosphere for people to be able to air their grievances to you through regular small group interactions, okay? I mean, committees helping demonstrate consistent behavioral changes 
after that wrong decision. Make sure you also have an accountability partner within the church that can help provide because every leader has a blind spot. And so it's good to have an accountability partner within the church that can provide for you the support and monitor the progress away from the effect of the what of the effect of the wrong decisions you have made i want to just draw the cutting here now these steps are very very you have to be deliberate about it you have to be intentional about it yeah with us also all the biblical principles church leaders can guide their congregation towards genuine forgiveness and repentance and, and, and reconciliation and the fostering a community that reflects Christ's love, grace, and allowing the head of the church to take absolute control of what's going on within the church. So please don't think that that wrong decision is going to kill you. There's a difference between the decision and you yourself. And the church needs to be educated to the, that point that when you make a wrong decision, it is not you that is the wrong decision. All right? You need to begin to separate you from the wrong decision. And then when that is done, you begin to have a way of bouncing back from that wrong decision from the from the steps that I've mentioned in this live broadcast. Please, if you have any church related questions for me, let's have them in any of the social media handles. Let's have them in any of the social media handles. I'm sure you're going to get more than an answer from me. Let's have your questions, your inquiries of any on all the social media handles that you're showing on the screen. You're sure going to get more than an answer from me please this video has been helpful to you please like this video give us a thumbs up give us a thumbs up uh share us to your community your pastor your church leaders drop me a comment in the comment section i'd love to hear from you i also want to learn from you drop uh, drop in the comment section what you feel about some of the things we have shared i'm sure we're going to get you a, a response immediately we do church consultation, church revitalization, church trainings, and church strategic planning sessions. Very fantastic. Reach out to us and let's see how we can help your church move with excellent church consulting for health, vitality, and results. Thank you for the attention and may God bless each and every one of us uh, as we have a fruitful week ahead. Till I come on your way next week, Monday, with part four or five and a continuation of this series, how to bounce back from a wrong decision. I say bye-bye, I love you, I love you, and God bless you. Thank you so much, bye-bye.